I started it as writing, uh, writing a letter to him after he had died just to tell him what had happened to uh, his things and, and um, his body and uh, what had happened at the end. And, uh, and then I, I sort of, it just came very organically. I just kind of continued it, but it's really a long letter to him, you know, written after he has died. And so it just, it just, uh, it wasn't something that was really premeditated. It just, it just kind of arose really organically out of, out of his death. Perhaps it would be helpful to other people going through the same process to read something, because I know that um, when I was going through grieving, it helped me to read other people's pain. I, it's a kind of a, a weird thing to say, but other people's pain actually helped my pain it's to know that there was company in it. So I published a small excerpt just as a tester, really, in a magazine to see if there was going to be a response to it or not, or if it was just something too private and I shouldn't publish it. And I had a really positive response. Sometimes you have to write about hard things in yourself, but you have to try and write about them honestly, you know, without thinking about an outside reader or thinking about writing for a particular audience, just thinking about the truth, you know, that you want to tell and to tell it in the most honest way that you can. I think.